Hello, and welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all about the amazing world around you. To learn more about the human body, its systems, and its organs, be sure to check out our website. See the description for links. In today's video, we're going to explore the digestive system. But first, a quiz question. We know that the small intestine is a long, thin tube in our abdomen. But do you know how big the surface area of the small intestine is? Watch until the end for the answer. The digestive system is one of the most important systems in the human body. It's responsible for breaking down food and extracting the nutrients that the body needs to function properly. This system is made up of several organs and structures that work together to keep us healthy and happy. Let's look at each part. The digestive system begins in the mouth where food is taken in and chewed. The teeth and tongue help to break the food down into smaller pieces and saliva is produced to help lubricate and begin the process of breaking down carbohydrates. After being chewed and moistened, the food travels down the esophagus, a muscular tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. The muscles in the esophagus contract to move the food down towards the stomach. This wave-like motion is called peristalsis. Once in the stomach, the food is further broken down by stomach acid and enzymes. Stomach acid is very strong to help kill bacteria and to help break down food. But it doesn't harm the stomach because of a special mucus lining which protects the cells of the stomach. The stomach muscles mix and churn the food to help break it down into a thick liquid called chyme. The chyme then moves into the small intestine. The small intestine is where most of the nutrients from food are absorbed. The walls of the small intestine are lined with tiny finger-like structures called villi, which increase the surface area for nutrient absorption. Enzymes produced by the pancreas, gallbladder, the liver, and the small intestine continue to break down the food and extract the nutrients that the body needs. For example, proteases break down protein into peptides and amino acids. Amylase breaks down carbohydrates into simple sugars. And lipase breaks down fats and oils. With food broken down into its simple parts, the nutrients are able to be absorbed by the tiny villi and into the bloodstream. After passing through the small intestine, the remaining material moves into the large intestine, or colon. Here, water is absorbed from the material. It is at this point that another really important process takes place. Inside our large intestine there is a colony of bacteria. There are hundreds of different kinds and they number in the trillions. These bacteria are needed for fermentation to break down fiber and to produce chemicals and vitamins needed by our body. Of course, a byproduct of fermentation is gas. Once digestion and absorption is complete, what's left is a waste product called feces, or poop. It collects in the rectum, until it's time to go to the toilet and have a bowel movement. The feces then passes through the anus and out of the body. Because some bacteria in the intestine is harmful, it's important to wash your hands with soap and water after using the toilet, so that you don't make yourself or other people sick. The digestive system is crucial to maintaining good health. The first step is with a balanced diet that has a variety of fruits and vegetables for lots of vitamins, minerals, and fiber. When this system is not functioning properly, it can lead to a variety of health problems. Some common digestive issues include heartburn, ulcers, constipation, diarrhea, and inflammatory bowel disease. Isn't it amazing how much goes on in your body once you choose something and swallow it? By understanding how this system works, we can better appreciate the importance of a healthy diet and lifestyle in maintaining good health. And now for the answer you've been waiting for. The length of the small intestine is around 20 feet long in adults. Thanks to the increased surface area of villi and microvilli, the surface area of the small intestine is 2,150 square feet. That's half of a basketball court. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. See you in the next video.